because it's rain and not frozen rain. Well, the power shortages of midweek are under control, but now comes drops in water pressure with pipes bursting and some faucets on more of a stream than a drip. Water companies are having a hard time keeping the flow going and boil orders are in effect for Benton, Mayflower and Kensett. People are asked to boil water and let it cool before drinking it. You don't have to do it for washing and bathing, but you're asked to avoid any unnecessary water use until the pressure comes back up to normal. Several water companies have said they are not currently under boil orders, but they are urging customers to conserve water as much as possible. That includes those uh, cities you see there on that list and central Arkansas water. Hot Springs, Pine Bluff. Hot Springs, in fact, telling us tonight they are at a critical point with their water level and service disruption may be needed. So the big question is why are cities asking Arkansans to conserve now and how exactly can we do it? THV 11's Mercedes McKay breaks down what you can do to help the strained water system. From Yale County. Well, we do have a critical water situation here. To Pulaski County. The system is 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 taxed right now. It's 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 under pressure. City leaders and water companies across the state pleading for our Kansans to do one thing. Conserve, conserve, conserve. That's all you can say. Overnight, Yale County officials requested over 2,000 gallons of water as their three main storage tanks continue to drop. We've got two National Guard tankers coming to Danville to take care of the nursing home and the hospital. The supply reaching such a critical level that the city's poultry plant remains shut down because there's not enough water to run it. The bottom line, people have got to conserve water during this, this horrible time of year right now. That similar message coming from a water system that serves 500,000 Arkansans in eight counties. It's kind of one of those trade-offs where we're asking folks to conserve a little bit of water at this point to prevent something worse from happening down the road. That something worse could be a boil water advisory, which some Arkansas cities have issued. Central Arkansas Water has noticed several breaks over the last couple of days that have made an impact on the system. And while the ground begins to warm and pipes start to thaw, that number will grow. What we're seeing is just a multitude of smaller breaks that again are either under the snow or maybe in the basements of some of these buildings where that simply haven't been identified yet. The biggest concern for water supply is here in the downtown Little Rock area, which is why crews are out trying to spot leaks and why they advise you to check on any offices or buildings that haven't been used this week. We certainly recommend that you go check out that building to make sure that there isn't a broken pipe in there that's been flowing water um, for a little while. Some other recommendations, if you have a pipe burst in your house, shut off the meter and hold off on things that can wait, like running the washing machine or dishwasher. We really need uh, you know, the public to help us kind of get through this, this stressful phase here over the next two or three days as, as the system is, is going to be taxed. In Little Rock, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. Mercedes, thank you. Customers may also experience discolored water. It is safe, but it may stain clothing. Turn on faucets and flush the toilet a couple of times to try and clear it all out.